And good morning. I forgot what day it is. It's 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 Wednesday. Uh, yeah. So I got up at seven this morning to finish work on the tail teller. Um, so it'll only take a couple of hours. But basically, I have this big folder thing with all the scenes in it, and uh, I'm just going to go through and cross off the last of the stuff. I know I said yesterday was my last day on the tail teller, which is true. It's my last full day working on the tail teller. But I'm coming back to it just to to sort of finalize a few of these little things, render a bunch of scenes, and then put together the the whole video because I'm gonna make a sample preview build of the video for press and media people uh, a week before the release. After that's done, I'm gonna go get coffee, and I'm gonna start on working on the book. So good news, the, uh, the first ever 4K version of the Tale Teller is now being rendered, which is very exciting. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'm, I'm done with the Tower Teller for now. Everything that I have left to do is, is finished. And the 0.5% left to do is just implementing a little bit of background stuff here and there. Uh, the audio is pretty much done. So that's pretty much it for the Tower Teller. I'll finish it off on the weekend, just over a, an hour or two. But for all intents and purposes, I'm done. So to celebrate when this is finished rendering, I'm gonna take it into the house and watch it on my high definition TV and soak it in a bit. And then I'm gonna to get to work on the book. While it renders, I uh, came over to cross a day off on my perpetual year calendar and it just hit me like how close this all is because for the last six months, I've been looking at this thinking every one of these columns is a month. I've got so much time. And before you know it, the time's passed and I am one week away from the, well, a week and a half really. But I, I'm like right there, like this is, this is where I am and this is where it's releasing, you know? Like, but I, I remember being back here and thinking, oh, you know, that's like, you know, five, four months, that's, that's fine, I've got loads of time. But still deciding that, you know what, I'm gonna work anyway, I'm gonna push through and not procrastinate and boy, I'm glad <laughs> I didn't procrastinate. Because if you procrastinate when you're back here, not only do you, do you work crazy hard and get super stressed even more so than I have been, and I've been doing several four o'clock in the morning, staying up late, work nights a week uh, at this point, but you also make it impossible to finish it. So I don't know, it's, it's interesting being on the other end of it. And the other weird feeling is it feels like it's just sort of happened on its own. Like, of course, this is like 10 months of work, but when you get to the end of it and you push through all of that, the the end result sort of feels like it happened without you doing anything, <laughs> which sounds so dumb, but it just feels that way. It feels like I'm watching this finished animation and it just sort of made itself. <laughs> it's not true. It was a lot of work. I'm just describing an emotional position. That... Anyways, should be done now. The sight of my son watching in the night garden just absolutely melt my heart look at that that is pure unadulterated wonderment and a pug trying to steal his food maggie <laughs> Go away. okay jazza is struggling so I'm just going to ask him questions to end the vlog because he's... It's 10 p.m. We're and not, I'm just about to get back to work again. So we're not going to edit any of this. So what Let do I... Let me start off with a question to you, though, because a lot of people are going to be asking. They'll be seeing me starting early and working late into the night and sometimes up until four in the morning. Like, it's a common question. Like, what? what do, what's... <laughs> how do we have a relationship? <laughs> how do you feel about all this? Do, am I present? Am well, I... All right. Yeah, I don't feel great about it. I no. miss you. And it's not like this all the time. I miss you. For this is representative. When you say it's not like this all the time. Well, it is this these last few weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I don't feel great about it, but no. it's not a case. That it's nothing we can help. It, at the moment, Jazza did not schedule brilliantly. I've admitted to this. We, I know. And... So he's now, he has to get things done in a certain amount of time. And to be honest, it's actually how he normally works. 
No, it's not. Yes, it no, is. all the time, sometimes. It is. How you normally work. No, it's not. Yeah. Not like it is. But you're not going to anymore because I'm going to help you with it. Yes. Because what do I do? As people have asked what my job is. My job is now to work with Jazza. It used to be, I used to be an entertainer, singer, dancer, and theatre. Tour manager. Stuff like that. But then I was teaching on and off, English and drama teacher. And now... I went on maternity leave and I work with Jazza. So that that's what I do. Sort of things grew and he needed help. Which is awesome in a lot of senses because aside from being my left side of the brain, yeah, right is creative. No, don't drag it out. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, like I can go to you for everything. I could be like, I'm doing a lesson such and such. I'm doing a video on whatever and you'll have awesome feedback for it because you know how lesson plans are put together. Uh, all we the work together. Productions, pitches. So tactics. it sort of leads on into the same thing. Anyways, yeah. When it's he's struggling, I know why. I know his work schedule. I know he's genuinely overloaded. He's not at the office partying, with you know, drinking with his mates or something like that. He's struggling. And so I try and help and um and we do it together we're we're a team mm -hmm. but ebbs and flows we, we have the fortunate flexibility he's feeling pretty terrible right now a week off when we need to sometimes and work towards that but anyways he's feeling pretty terrible right now so i just thought i'd tell you this because he didn't want to tell you he recorded a whole bit of this that was about how terrible he was feeling Shh. <laughs> and then he Said he wouldn't put it up. But I think it is important to know. It's tough. It's, yeah. Like, you, you don't fake it. It's no. the vlog. You, there's no point in faking it. He's not feeling great. He's mm. he's knackered. But it's not just that he's tired. He's under a lot of pressure. Mm. He's done really well with Tale Teller, but now he's squidged the book. So the book pressure is now hitting him. And two big things in a row. He's finding it psychologically I'm tough. Biting my nails back to the bone. So the he's bone. going to be working late again tonight, and all I can do is try and support him in that because because it has to be done. But we have one week. We're one week. One week, and then we're off. So in answer to you, how is he feeling? He's not feeling. He's not feeling uh, great. And if he was honest with you, he could show you him. We're probably whinging at at you. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm sure that yeah. you have sympathetic ears to him. Okay. A lot of people are going to start saying, don't burn yourself out, take care of yourself, Jensen, don't. You're going to blah, blah. And admittedly, I say that too, and you know that. We both know that this isn't the ideal ske scheduling of projects, and we won't do and you, it you again. you take these lessons and you learn and you, you adjust, you know. Mm. And at the same time, like... Some of the stuff you just can't predict. We had no idea some of the opportunities that would come along between when we started these projects and now that have doubled the workload yeah. in that time. And and I didn't know to schedule for that. And it's it's tough, you know. And also these projects are big and tough and sometimes you sort of underestimate We're that. making allowances in that from now on. Yeah. And he's a great husband and father. He 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 comes in every night to do dinner, bath and bed with mini Jazza. And make sure that he has that time with him, even if he's going to come back into the office and work. And we went away for our anniversary weekend and we turned off all our mobile data and we That's didn't and most email. Times, and most times we have, you know, weekends and sometimes I but can it's even tough take on an him afternoon right now. or a day, but it's ebbs and flows and, and this has been a long flow. And I'm feeling, the reason I'm feeling so emotional is because I just got through this massive crunch for Tail Teller. And it was elated this morning and then midday and then starting to work on the book. It hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, so you have it's to keep going. Time again. It's you have like to keep right going, yeah. Time and You're ready, you are ready to stop and you have to wind up and keep going again. So that's yeah. what we're going to do now. We're going to wind up and keep going for round two of the Set crunch time. Yeah. And we're going to remember that it's not just you that's in this situation. There's lawyers who are working all around the clock on difficult cases. Yeah. There's all sorts of people who are in the office. Tax and time, accountants. Accountants. Well, our accountant is working on Saturday yeah. <laughs> this week as well. So we know that other people are doing this same thing i'm just lucky to have jazza um because his office is at our home so i'm just lucky to have jazza as close as he is so he can come in and see mini jazza anyway I good guess, night I everyone guess, guess we'll script we'll script we'll script don't script today we've got we'll skip the question of the day because we'll 
But both. that's my question. Yeah. What does yeah. we've answered what does Mrs. Jazza do? Ones that we get a lot. Yeah. Night. And okay. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.